Gentlemen of the jury, I ask you to look at the defendant, Miss Lizzie Ford. I ask you to recall the nature of the crime of which she is accused. I ask you, do you believe Miss Lizzie Borden, the youngest daughter of a scion of our community, a recipient of the fullest amenities our society can bestow upon its most fortunate members? Do you believe Miss Lizzie Borden capable of wielding the murder weapon? 32 blows, gentlemen. 32 blows fracturing Abigail Borden's skull, leaving her bloody and broken body in an upstairs bedroom, then Miss Borden, with no hint of frenzy, hysteria, or trace of blood upon her person, engages in casual conversation with the maid, Bridget O'Sullivan, while awaiting her father's return home, upon which, after sending Bridget to her attic room, Miss Borden deals 13 blows to the head of her father, and minutes later, in a state utterly compatible with that of a loving daughter, upon discovery of murder most foul, Miss Borden calls for aid. Is this the aid we give her? Accusation of the most heinous and infamous of crimes. Do you believe Miss Lizzie Borden capable of these acts? such an act, I say to you, look to your daughters. If this gentle woman is capable of such an act, which of us can lie bed at night? Hear a step upon the stairs, a rustle in the hall, a creak outside the door. Which of you can plump your pillow, nudge your wife, close your eyes and sleep? Gentlemen, Lizzie Borden is not mad. Gentlemen, Lizzie Borden is not guilty. 